I uh, had a chance to speak with someone on the floor who kind of shared a story to me about his mother, 82 years old, no history of breast cancer, you know, normal breast, not dense breasts, um, you know, being told that she should have a mammogram once a year. Uh, he has a sister who's in her 50s now, but she had breast cancer when she was in her 20s. Yes. And um, and she has dense breasts, and she's being told to get a mammogram once once a year. So you've got two very different patients, very different circumstances, both being told screening mammography is the way to go. And, and I, I guess I'm wondering, do you see a future where we have a more personalized medicine approach, really looking at the patient, looking at all the circumstances around the patient, um, and maybe not doing just screening mammography or starting with even screening mammography? Yes, uh, actually that's exactly the direction we should be going. Uh, the personalization of screening. Uh, women have uh, very different circumstances when they uh, present for screening and uh, everyone uh, shouldn't be treated the same, uh, shouldn't be screened the same. Uh, so personalization is important. We need to establish different avenues of protocols for different uh, types of patients. It's uh, not as easy as it sounds because mm -hmm. again, uh, the payment needs to be taken into account. Uh, so uh, if, if you say that uh, a specific patient maybe should have uh, MRI screening once a year and uh, another patient maybe she needs to be screened mammographically only every other year, uh, the insurance companies have to be uh, part and parcel to this, agreeing to the differentiation in uh, screening processes. And I think it'll be an interesting road ahead if we're having problems of, um, agreeing on screening mammography, how are we ever going to agree on something more complicated like protocols for different types of women? That's exactly right. Uh, you know, the, the scientific data proving efficacy has to be there first, but then there's this whole other process of actually uh, establishing the payment patterns so that uh, patients can have their care paid for. And helping women understand as well the exactly. different options. Right. Right. Well, thank you, Gary. I appreciate your time and good to catch up with you again. Sean, always a pleasure. Okay.